Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Layers panel. I'm going to grab the Layers panel and bring it up here so we can look at it. So here, the first thing I'm going to talk about is in Rebel 4, you can now group layers. So let's make a couple different layers by clicking on the New Layer button. Keyboard shortcut is Control shift n And now if we want to grab all of these, we can do that by pressing Shift and grabbing all of them, or by pressing Control and individually selecting each layer additively. Okay, now we're going to click on the Group Layers button. You can also just drag from a blank space on the Layers panel and click on the Group Layers button. You can press the down arrow here and it'll show all the layers inside the group and you can turn off and on the group visibility with the eye icon. All right, let's undo that. By the way, if you want this clear layer button, so let's go ahead and click this. This is going to erase whatever's on the layer. This is not visible by default in Rebel 4. To turn that on, you need to go into Preferences. And down here at the bottom, there's Add Clear Layer Button to Layers Panel. And that's where you turn this on. Right, let's go ahead and back out of this. So we have three layers. We're going to talk about masking fluid layers. So I'm going to select the middle layer, and it doesn't really matter too much which layer you select. So we have three different types of media here on the masking layer, and I want to show you what this is going to do. Now, in order to turn this into a masking layer, we're going to click on that little M. Those dots means that those layers are affected by the mask. And let's go ahead and grab some watercolor, and we'll pick a new color. Let's pick a nice blue. And you can see I can't do anything on this layer because this is the masking layer. So let's select the one underneath. And you're going to notice something here with the mask. So we can see the mask. It says hide the mask so you can see what happened here. So here the oil paint completely blocked out everywhere where it was fully opaque. If whatever you use to make the mask, you can't see through it at all. It's not transparent even a little bit. It'll fully block It'll fully mask when you paint over the top of it. If, like this one here in the middle, was very transparent, you could see through it very easily. And so when we went to use it as a mask, you can see here it didn't do anything. Now the bottom one, here you can see that there is a little bit of transparency, but it is mostly opaque, and we're getting that type of result here. I recommend picking a tool over here that's very opaque. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. Now we can make multiple masks at the same time. So I could go up to layer three and let's grab another brush here. Let's do thick and dry and let's go. And again, this color really doesn't matter. This really has to do with the opacity here. So here we did this right over the top. We're going to turn this into a masking layer. Now the only layer that's being affected is layer one. Now if we turn off these two things, Nothing has happened because it doesn't work retroactively. You have to add new paint. So let's go ahead and add some new paint. We'll use an orange, watercolor, water only. And let's go over the top here. We'll let it diffuse a little bit. And now let's go ahead and hide these. And what you can see is that this has masked out and, and respected what was already there. And then everything new that we did, it has uh, used both masks, the original mask that we had from layer two and the new mask on layer three. Both of those can work. They can work independently. So you can have multiple masks at the same time. So I've disabled all the masking fluid layers, which you can do just by tapping on the icon right over here and you can turn it off that way. And what we're gonna look at is lock transparency. Lock transparency is going to let you paint only on pixels that are currently on that layer. So let's go ahead and turn this layer off so we can see it's all of the red. Now this section right here is very transparent. Even the pixels that are barely visible are accessible to paint on. So let's demo that real quickly. Let's go ahead and paint just the edges. You can see it restricts everything to the visible pixels on the screen. I think that's so cool. Now let's look at tracing layers. This is really cool. 
So here, I'm going to go ahead and click on tracing layer. This layer is the one that we just did. I'm going to move this up. And then we're going to go on the layer below. You can see again, these dots, these dots mean these layers are affected. And so with tracing layer turned on right here, when we paint this, we have blue selected is blue. Now, if I turn this off, you can see that the layer itself, this has green on layer three. Now, if we go to another color that's on our tracing layer, I want you to notice that this is going to pull the colors from whatever color is on that tracing layer. So if I wanted to fill this in with purple, this with blue, this with orange, this with blue, up here with red, what you're going to see when I turn this off, you can see all of those colors have been selected for me from the tracing layer. So it's not going to do the line work for me, but it's going to select the colors for me, which is, is a, a whole lot of steps removed if you're trying to sample colors from a layer that you're sourcing. So we're going to touch base on all the buttons here. Now show wet, pause diffusion, wet the layer, dry the layer, and fast dry. All of these are touched on in other tutorial videos. Uh, the quick start guide for Rebel 4, I go into a little bit more detail on these. So for now, I'm just going to point at those and tell you the names of them. Blending modes, you can choose from any of these different blending modes, and that'll affect just the layer that's selected. You can adjust the opacity. Right here, you have also just a lock button that'll keep you from moving or affecting the layer that's locked. Down here, you can show or hide the canvas, so making that canvas completely transparent. You can select the canvas here, choosing texture scale, deckled edges. And this will be in another tutorial as well if you want more detail. Rebel 4 has a number of beautiful, well-crafted papers that you can purchase that affect your artwork just the way a real canvas would. Definitely worth checking out. Click on Get More Papers for more on that. Right here, you can show or hide the selection. What that means is if I make a selection right here, tap to enable the selection, and then I click right here, Show Hide Selection, that's going to isolate it visually so that you can very easily see, so you can very easily see what section of the canvas is deselected and what is selected. And then right here, you have the Show Visual Settings panel button. You can delete your layers. So this one, because we have that selected, if we want to clear the entire layer, we can do that. Let's go ahead and we're going to select these two layers, three layers, and we're going to merge them together. Now we have one layer. Let's clear it. And then if we delete it, it'll go back to layer one. So there's always going to be one layer. And by clicking here, you can duplicate the layer. All right, you guys, that is it for the Layers panel. Stay tuned for the next tutorial.